Ozempic, what is it? I was laying in bed one day and I saw this commercial ad for this weight loss injection that you can get prescribed or you can get from your doctor and it seems like the cure-all end-all to weight loss. Now I had to question it because I start getting questions about it from clients and so after doing my research, I found out a couple things. Whenever it comes to looking into these things, I always look at what the general public is saying. Sure, I can go on the internet and I can find an Ozempic sponsored ad or Ozempic sponsored website and they're gonna tell you exactly what you want to hear. But when you go to YouTube and I see an average Joe posting about their experience, that's the people that I wanna to start to learn from and then I'll scale it up. So I watched a news article from the Today News and the report kind of seemed one-sided where they don't want people to take Ozempic, but here's what I found from this video. And if you want the video, it's linked in the description. So they're saying that Ozempic reduces your hunger, it makes you feel fuller longer. If you overeat while you're on Ozempic, you're gonna feel nauseous and you're gonna potentially throw up. Some have even reported that even drinking water will make you nauseous. And some even reported massive headaches or even migraines. One lady even said that everything came back to full force for her. That once she stopped taking the Ozempic because she didn't have the money to pay for it because her insurance ran up, that all of her cravings and hunger came back and they even doubled, which then re resulted in her doubling her weight back. So Ozempic was originally designed to help treat type 2 diabetes and help with obesity. So you may not be obese, but you definitely want to lose weight. So you're like, this sounds exactly like what I need. And it can be given in an injectable form or an oral form. The way that it works, it works to control your blood sugars. So as your blood sugars go high, naturally your body's gonna release insulin. And when you get the two in a zone, what ends up happening is your body will store a lot of the extra sugars as fat. Whereas Ozempic is gonna prevent you from overeating and increasing the amount of calories that you're consuming, which then will decrease the amount of calories that get stored as fat. It does so by reducing your appetite. It slows the amount of food that is emptied from your stomach. It promotes a feeling of fullness because the stomach isn't emptying fast enough, which then will contribute to weight loss. Now, knowing that, if you're taking this prescription and you're decreasing your appetite, what happens when you get off? Well, you no longer have that. So you still have to put into play good eating habits. If your stomach isn't emptying the calories as fast as it should, and especially when you're starting, you gotta think about those nutrients and those calories are sitting in your stomach. Whenever you eat, you want that food to be in you, used and out. So if you eat something bad and it's not being pushed out of your body, there's a lot of bad that can happen with that. But the thought about not being as hungry and being fuller longer, I mean, obviously that sounds good. So how do you take it? Well, you would get your prescription from your doctor and they can prescribe it in one of two ways. The first way, which is probably the more effective way and it stays in your system longer, but I don't know, don't quote me on that, is an injectable form. Usually injectable forms are more potent, it gets absorbed into the bloodstream faster and usually stays in your system longer, but the injectable form would last once a week. Whereas you can take oral tablets and you would take them daily. So if you're cringy to needles, then you would take the tablets. If you're okay with needles and you want it to potentially be more effective and stay in your system longer, then you'd probably take the injections. But again, don't quote me on that. Now, as mentioned in the video, some of the side effects that have been reported were gastrointestinal symptoms. So you could get a very nauseous, upset stomach, and some have even reported diarrhea. You're obviously going to have that decrease in appetite, but you can also stimulate a low blood sugar. So if you take the Ozempic and your blood sugars are already normal, or they're even a little bit lower, what ends up happening is you can go into a low blood sugar problem and that could create like fainting, really fatigue issues, dizziness, headaches, all those things could happen. Now, how long should you take this? I think that you should take it as long as you need it if you plan on taking it. So maybe if you're just getting started and you need to build up better habits and you just can't control your hunger without you like mentally willing yourself to decrease your hunger or you don't have the proper coaching to basically control those calories, then this might be the tool that you need in order to get you started. But taking this long term, I think that there's better ways that you can control your appetite without actually having to take a needle or a pill every time. And long term, if you focus on, okay, what can I do on my own and what can I sustain? 
you got to think about those two things. And if you can do this long term, then continue to do it if it works for you. But if not, I would find a way to either hire a coach to help you with your calories and your mindset of why you're eating so much and then look at it as a long-term relationship and be happy with the food that you eat. So in the end, you must be active to burn calories and you must do resistance training to build muscles. So in order for this Ozempic to work, you must establish a proper relationship with food and use the Ozempic as a tool to get you on track and then gradually take it off and have your mindset and your commitment to your long-term health versus just a short-term fix that we know, according to the ladies in the video that I posted in the description, that once they got off the Sozempic, they weren't properly prepared to get off it and what ended up happening is they doubled back the weight that they initially lost. So if you choose to get this prescribed, then use it as a tool like you would any other supplements or prescriptions don't make it your only tool because you're going to depend on it and if you fall off which a lot of us do fall off you're going to see massive amounts of rebound now what i've done is put together a 24-hour detox that you can try maybe you want to flush out the weekend but all you got to go to is to the description you're going to see a link there it's called the fit club 24-hour detox plan click the link and i'll send it right over to you